All right, here we have another example, and um, some of you guys may have uh, kind of heard of cross multiplication before, and that is absolutely a shortcut um, to this same procedure. But I'm going to show you, you know, that that you don't have to try and figure out when a shortcut will work and when something else will work. It, really and truly the same procedure will work every single time. So before we begin this problem, let's do the exact same thing that we've done before. Let's figure out what is our common denominator. And here we have a y minus 5 and we have a y plus 1. So actually our common denominator is going to be both of those. Remember these are binomials so they, they act as one you know a giant piece. You have to take them together, take all of it at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by this least common denominator. The same thing that we did in the example before. Now rather than rewriting this problem since there's only one term on either side, I'm just going to multiply both sides by y minus 5 times y plus 1. So I'm just going to show that here. Oops, y minus 5 times y plus 1. Now for the left hand side, our y minus 5's will cancel. So we have y plus 1 times y plus 2 equals now here on the right hand side our y plus 1's will cancel so we have y plus 6 times y minus 5. Now at least we've gotten rid of the denominators and we can continue solving. So in order to do that we need to multiply out both sides. I'm going to distribute the y and then distribute the 1. We'll have y squared plus 2y and then distributing the 1 plus y plus 2 equals, now over here we're going to do the same thing, we're going to distribute the y and then distribute the 6. So we will be left with y squared minus 5y and distributing the 6 plus 6y minus 30. And now let's collect like terms. So y squared plus 3y plus 2 will equal y squared a minus 5 plus 1 would be plus y minus 30. Now here again we're going to continue um, collecting like terms. So if, let me subtract y squared so we can remove it from this side and look what happens when we do it actually removes it from both sides doesn't it? So we have left 3 uh, y plus 2 equals y minus 30. And let's collect our y's. Let me subtract y from both sides to give us 2y plus 2 equals negative 30. And then we're going to subtract 2 from both sides so that we'll have 2y equals negative 32. And then dividing both sides by 2, we have y equals negative 16. So negative 16 is our final answer here. Now there is one thing that we've not talked about yet to this point that we also do need to mention. We found that our answer was y equals negative 16 when we solve this. What we should always do with uh, these problems though is you need to take your answer and you need to plug it back into the equation. Not necessarily to work the entire thing, but let's think about this. Here we're working with a fraction that has a variable in the denominator there is a number that we cannot use here for y otherwise it would cause a zero in the denominator. If I plug in a negative 16 here though, negative 16 minus 5 uh, that would be negative 21 so that's a fine denominator. And if I use negative 16 over here for the y, negative 16 plus 1 is a negative 15. That's okay. You always want to double check your answer and make sure that if you were to plug it back in you would not have a zero denominator. If it creates a zero denominator then we have to throw out that solution.